Could we please play the audio of Kamala Harris yesterday on what the government, what she thinks the government needs to do right away? And the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750 for folks who need immediate needs being met, such as food, baby formula, and the like. And you can apply now for anyone who's watching this who has been affected. Uh huh. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. We just sent. How many billions? How many billions have gone overseas? How many billions? How many hundreds of millions have we sent over to Ukraine? We are paying for some of their small businesses to stay open. Did you know that? We are paying for their social security in Ukraine, and you get $750? This is your freaking money! You want more of this? Vote Kamala. You want to take care of things? Vote Trump. You just want to make sure people are happy. Stop waiting for the government to do it. Help us help them. Mercury1.org. We also have those mic. All right, I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halala Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash, double honors to my apostles, elder bishops, hearing great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Tazer Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp, and just here with another quick video. I was watching uh, Glenn Beck, and uh, the title of his video here is FEMA is running out of money for hurricane victims, but give billions to illegals. All right, so this is a, all right, Glenn Beck, I believe to be an Edomite. You know, he's pissed off, all right? And uh, covering this news because you know, as we're gonna keep prophesizing, all right, the word of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, which prophecy is will it will come to pass, all right, and we're seeing it that Babylon the Great, aka America, is done, all right, and um, they're spreading thin, uh, excuse me, they're spreading thin, you know, uh, across the world trying to cover everything trying to be the police of every country you know they're helping out ukraine with all this money and then here it is they need help all right right here in america so this place is done and this is something you know we're looking forward to because it's prophecy if you believe in the truth you believe in the bible then you must you know you got to understand the truth all right you got a christianity um all these different religions they call upon the uh messiah by a false name they have a um they have this uh doctrine which is of lies about the scriptures and they believe in lies and here it is the true men of the lord are here to give you the truth but nobody listens all right well let me say the elect will listen but the rest of the world they don't listen and you know everybody's gonna listen when the shit hit the fan now you're gonna want to take heed to and what you know the men of the lord which are the israelites the prophets the true prophets of yahweh bashim yahweh shai have been given to you and there's gonna be no uh solution for your salvation all right it ain't gonna be no solution for your salvation and I'm talking about you Israelites because salvation is only for the Israelites. It's only for the Israelites, in particular, the elect of the Israelites. All right, so bear with me one second. Okay, so what come to mind is um, real quick because there ain't gonna be no solution. It's only gonna be judgment. And you're gonna have to pay for the sins that you committed in your past life and also this life so i want to go to the book of jeremiah which i quote from time to time kind of often 
So I'm gonna get this scripture because it pops up in my mind, right? I don't have precepts, so I want to flow in the spirit. All right, Lord's willing, and hopefully, how Bashim how Shah Bashim Dash. All right, allow this lesson to be edifying to those of the whole four elect. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15 and 1. Now it says, Judgment must come. You see that right at the top? It says, Judgment must come. And I'm gonna play some more of this video, uh, Glenn Beck. You know, uh, uh, speaking about the uh, status of America, right? This is the book of Jeremiah 15 and 1. It says, Then said Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And shall, it says, And it shall come to pass. If they say unto thee, now, who, who is the people that the Lord is speaking about here? The Heavenly Father. He's talking about his people. All right. The two thirds, just to put a number on it. You know, a large amount of the Israelites, the da damn near the whole, almost the whole pie. All right. Let me say of uh, here in America. Right. Because when it goes into the one third and the two thirds, that's talking about here in America. So when you look at that pie chart that brothers put together, the apostles, other bishops, you know, for visual reasons to give you more understanding, see it visually. And that pie chart, you see that there's a lot more Israelites that's going to be destroyed than the ones that's going to be saved. So at this point, we understand through precepts and through, you know, the word, right? We understand through precepts that the Lord is only going to deliver his elect. And that election is a small number compared to the rest. So let's read it, let's read it again. Then said Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, and these are two prophets. All right. It says, stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, let them go forth. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith Yahweh, such as for death to death, and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for captivity to captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith Yahweh, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So I'm reading this account because the lord basically set up a time of judgment which i could have went into other accounts but this is what pops up in mind the lord told jeremiah though moses and Stan samuel moses and samuel stood before him he said his mind could not be toward this people right which is his own people two-thirds if you want to put the number on it the knuckleheads man the hardheads right the lord's basically saying look if they go to ask you what should they do? Just tell them, look, death to death, sword to the sword. Meaning you're just going to be judged by the Lord. So, you know, I brought that up because what Glenn Beck is about to go into a lot of the, uh, you know, being mad about the state and the status of this place called America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. There's nothing else you can do for this place. All right. Also, what comes to mind? Take bond for her pain. At least she may be healed. Right. There's no medicine, no ointment, no remedy. Now he mentioned vote, you know, for Kamala if you if you want this and vote for Trump if you want that. Neither one of them could change the status and the decaying state that America is in. This is Bible prophecy. All right? And if you understand the scriptures, if you read the scriptures, right, you would know that the Lord have always destroyed these wicked kingdoms. If you really read the scriptures, you know the Lord destroyed wicked kingdoms. Is not Babylon the Great a wicked kingdom? Is not this place one of the greatest, wickedest kingdoms on the planet Earth have, that it has ever been? So, if you're true to yourself, <laughs> you're true to yourself, right? You're honest with yourself. 
you will be able to understand that the Lord is really judging this place and there's nothing you can do to save it, man. Call Halal La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yes, you know, it makes us smile, all right? Because this is what the men of the Lord been looking for all this time, all right? Since brothers been woke back up to this truth, and I mean the true prophets and men of the Lord, been looking for it, for the Lord to fulfill prophecy, and that's what the Lord is doing, you know? Basically, when you look at it, the Lord is playing chess, all right? He's playing chess with himself. He make a move, he make the other move, all right? And it's all boiling down, all right, to the end of the game. And the scriptures say in 2nd Edra 6, which I'll quote, I don't have to read it. You brothers know the scriptures. Uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of of it that follows so this is some beautiful times to be living in man you know now let's li let's listen to uh glenn Beck rant and be frustrated a little bit all right <laughs> I, I find it amusing you know it's, it's beautiful and fair use fair use you know just um you know not using this video for monetary gain all right just educational purposes you know just want to respond to what um glenn beck is saying and use scriptures. All right, that's all. All right, so let's continue. Remember, the migrants got uh, $2,500. They got a free cell phone. What else they get? Oh, they got food and water and housing and stuff. So that's good. Uh, and I don't mean to just limit it to water. I'm sure they had Pepsi or you know whatever uh, beverage they would like. Uh, they got all of that. But Uncle Sam, man, it's nice to have a rich uncle, huh? Because he opened his wallet and he dug deep. He's going 750 big ones. Boom. Can be yours. All you have to have is just no house, no job, no roads, no schools for your kids. Boom. We're there with 750. Of course, you don't have any cell service either, but uh, now we're all out of phones. The cupboard is bare. If I hear FEMA say one more time that they are out of money for this hurricane season, Stu, can you look up how many big hurricanes that have caused massive disasters have happened this year? We're at the end of hurricane season and they say they're out of money. First of all, you're the United States <laughs> government. You're never out of money. You just print more. You're doing that all over the planet you are taking our money and you're shipping it overseas to god only knows who to do god only knows what and when we the people who are paying for all of this when we need help 750 dollars 750 dollars. whoa slow down uncle sam <laughs> i mean i think that's a little too much don't you now, wouldn't they argue, look, this is just for the very initial thing. Like, this is the initial uh, uh -huh. expenditures, right? Like, you need yeah, a hotel no, room to you stay what? in, you need you know a what? rental car, or something like that. Yeah. You know, uh, Palestine, uh, Ohio, mm -hmm. it, it was just the initial thing. We're just, oh, good. we're, you know, we're just going to give you 20 bucks, and but we're going to be there. We're going to, you know, we're coming out to visit you soon. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, we, should, so. we should also point out that it's just the initial thing they needed for the hundred billion dollars in Ukraine. Yeah, that was just the initial stuff they needed yeah. too. No, you know, because just, we're doing that for as long as it takes, no matter what it costs. Yeah, but here, well, cupboards are bare. It's the highest no. cost hurricane seasons. No. Uh, -uh. uh you know, it's a uh, about forty billion dollars of damages mm -hmm. is is what I'm seeing listed. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's been three major hurricanes. You have three states that have held had whole sections. This is amazing. You have people trapped in the mountains without any food, water, electricity, phone service. God only knows how many people are dying still today. Thank God they just got the National Guard in. But how many? How many National Guard? Do you know what the you know what the response was at first? We've sent the National Guard overseas. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but there are other states that also have National Guard. There are other, and you know what? And if I'm a state, I want to send my National Guard, but I'd be afraid to send my National Guard 
because I can't have my National Guard someplace else when I don't trust that I'm not going to have a crisis. Yeah. This, this, I'm telling you, pray. I, in fact, may I ask? <laughs> may I ask? <laughs> next Friday. Next Friday. Week from tomorrow. Yeah. If you... Yeah, he's right. Let's pray. All right? <laughs> Those of the hopeful elect, pray. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He fulfilled prophecy. You know? Pray for what? <laughs> if you... <laughs> you know? We praying to the Lord to fulfill prophecy. Yeah, we're going to pray, man. You know? Every day. The Lord said, pray without ceasing. Because this place is finished, man. It's, it's done. You know? There's nothing you can do to save this place. Now listen. Listen to what he's about to say. Talk to everybody you know. And anybody who is religious at all, <laughs> will you just ask them, next Friday, October 11th, is it 11th? Uh, yeah, October 11th, that we would all just fast and pray for our nation. Ha! I... I, I <laughs> No way, boy. The Lord told us to pray. All right. Matter of fact, let me bring this out. You know, and I always quote this scripture. So, quoted it yesterday. I'm going to quote it again. Or well, I read it yesterday. I'm going to read it again. All right. This is the book of 1 Corinthians. All right. Chapter 3. No, Salakia. This is the first. I mean, this is this. This is first. This is first Peter's chapter three. All right, and um, verse. Oh, this is pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's read this. This is first Peter's chapter three. And uh, let's start at eight, right? First Peter's chapter three and eight. Finally, it says, "Be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing." But contrariwise, blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. Right? Verse 10. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So check that out. All right. The Lord don't hear everybody prayers. He don't care if you fast. And I think Glenn, ben Get, uh, ben Glenn Beck's supposed to be a uh, small hat. You know. Verse 13, and who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? What is good? Serving the Lord. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Trusting in the process. You know, looking for the Lord to fulfill Bible prophecy. What's up with Bible prophecy? Why ain't nobody speaking about the Lord fulfilling Bible prophecy? Why, why is it a bad thing if the Lord is going to fulfill Bible prophecy? You know? You want to pray to him to stop it? I don't think so. We want him to fulfill it. Did not Yahweh Shai say, I come not to destroy, but to fulfill? Right? He came to do what? Not destroy the law all right, or the prophets, but what? To fulfill. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. If brothers see this video, if you're watching Baba Kushai, you can leave some precepts. I appreciate it. All right? So, you know, that's something to think about, right? Why these guys, they want to pray to the Most High to save America 
when the Lord said he would fulfill prophecy. Is not America one of the greatest wicked sinful kingdoms on the earth? I mean, that's a question. Is not America one of the greatest sinful kingdoms on the earth? Matter of fact, let's read this. This is um, this is the book of Amos, chapter nine, verse eight. It says, "Behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving." That I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, say of Yahweh. Alright, because who is Jacob? These things matter. Alright? Jacob matters, and these scriptures matter. The Lord said he would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Who's Jacob? Alright, Jacob has sons. Okay? Jacob name was later on changed to Israel. And in the Hebrew, that's Yasha Allah. He, Prince Power. Meaning he's the prince of the power, which makes him son of the king. Which that title goes upon his children. The ones that come under him. Alright, Esau, Edom, his brother, birthed the nation of Edom. That was the prophecy that was given to Rebekah before they were even born. That two nations in thy womb shall separate from thy bowels. One shall be stronger than the other. Right? And one shall serve the other. Right? The elder shall serve the younger. Excuse me. The elder shall serve the younger. So, it says, Behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save Yahweh. So this means that the Lord's people are still here and they're scattered. The Lord said in the scriptures through various different precepts that it's about the elect. One scripture that come to mind is Romans, what's that, 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. The election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So it's all about the elect. So why is it that you got these Christianity or, you know, whatever religion they believe in when it comes to the Bible, right? I'm going to say that when it comes to the Bible, they believe that God is for everybody. All right. That he's willing to save uh, who and whoever. John 3.16. They don't even understand uh, John 3.16. Whosoever. The whosoever is Israelites, whosoever of Israel, which is the elect that will believe, you know, but they don't understand that because they don't go into the words. They don't go into the context of what is actually written. You know, they just read it and you got different Bible apps out here. You got different Bible verses and some of these Bible verses go way the fuck off. All right. So anyway, let's continue for lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations, like as a corn is shifted in a sheaf, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Every time we go into these scriptures and we bring this truth out, jokers get mad. They get really mad because they know that we're telling the truth, but they don't want to believe it. Oh, it can't be coming from us. Oh, who the hell is he? Who's those guys? They teach hate. Those are radicals. You know, they hate the fact that we're telling you the truth. And they hate to believe it. They hate to believe it, man. You know? Because it's coming from us. The truth is the truth, man. So without further ado, let's continue on in this video. If the people of America will turn back to God, ah. please, will you join me on a national <laughs> fast and prayer day? Hold on. Hold on. Turn back to God. What God? What God? What's the name of your God? Who you worship? What's his name? And what's his son's name, if thou can tell? 
right? What God is he talking about? What God is he talking about? That's the question. Because when these people say God, you have to ask them, who is they God? What's his name? And what's his son's name? Because who they worshiping? God just means Allah in the Hebrew, which means power. Which spirit of power you worshiping? Let's continue. And uh, uh, a call to beseech his... Uh... It's been three years since humans last lived on land after the zombie crisis broke. Beseech his... Uh... His help, but we, you know, when you're fasting and praying, I think maybe the first mm, 23 hours of that should be maybe, hey, we're really, really sorry. Please, we're sorry. 23 hours of that should be maybe, hey, we're really, really sorry. We're, we're here to, what's the word, uh, repent. Please, we're sorry. And How could you repent? And you're not under the laws of the Most High. Who was the laws given to? The laws were given to the Israelites. And matter of fact, today in Christianity, they teach that JC, right, died for their sins already. So they don't have to keep the law. Right? And when you think about that, and I'm, I'm bringing this up also, and I'm stressing it because earlier there was a situation, this woman... Um, she was in Christianity, a northern woman, and she was trying to talk about the virgin birth and she, you know, she had no understanding of the scriptures at all, but she was trying to push her, her, her doctrine, you know, uh, force her doctrine upon you. And JC, right? She basically said Jesus died for their sins. So she don't have to keep the law. And that's what Christianity teaches you. All right. And that's kind of stupid. Why would somebody die, give up their life, so you could be recovered or you can be cleansed of your wrong, right? So you could, li listen to this, man. Why would somebody die and sacrifice themselves so that you could be cleansed of your wrong, right? Which is breaking the law. So that when that person's dead in his absence, you still break the law. It's okay now to break the law. The Lord said, I come not to destroy, but to fulfill. He didn't come to destroy the law. Even though nowadays we're based, every, it's based on faith, believing. But laws are there to govern your flesh. You are to rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High. This is where you guys, these knucklehead, these, you know, in Christianity, they don't have a clue or understanding of the Bible. And especially those at the gigs, at the jobs, you know, they, they don't even want to listen to brothers because the way we look, uh, how we're bringing it out. This is why in the beginning of this video, I was stressing the fact of what was written in Jeremiah 15 and his other accounts to get how the Lord is just going to just judge you. They, you know, just just you're just going to be judged. You know, <laughs> repentance ain't open for you. You got to be judged on this side. Repentance is for the, really the Lord's elect, which is the Lord's people. So how could Edomites repent when they was never called to be the Lord's people or never chosen? Excuse me. Never chosen. To be the Lord's people. You wasn't given lost statutes and commandments. You wasn't there with Moses. <laughs> the, the Chinese and the Japanese and the, and the Hamites, the Africans and the Hawaiians and the, and the white, white man and white woman was not there. When Moses gave these lost statutes and commandments to Israel, you was not there. And if you go to the New Testament, Apostle Paul was the light to the Gentiles, which Gentile... As you get the Zion Van Bible Dictionary, it says usually it means a non-Israelitish people, right? So meaning the word Gentile was referred to those that are not Israelites, right? But 
the Israelites end up becoming Gentiles because they were scattered and pushed out of the land. And they took on the customs and the ways of the heathens over time and time and time. Generation, generation, generation. So the Lord had to what? Bring the elect that was scattered back into this fold by believing in Yahawashai. Who the world ignorantly calls JC. So, Glenn Beck wants you to pray next, what, the 11th and fast. And he wants you to pray to pray, pray, pray to the Most High and ask the Most High to forgive you and forgive America. Nah. <laughs> nah, buddy. That ain't gonna work. Maybe the last 20 minutes we can say, and can you help us? Because I'm pretty sure he's pretty sick of just being called every time we need help. You know, you have you have kids and the phone rings every time they need help, and then the phone doesn't ring when they don't need help. You're kind of like when they call, you're like, oh, hmm, you again, you need help, huh? Yeah, I got it. Hey, thanks for checking in on Father's Day or whatever. Uh, you know, his Father's Day is once a week in his world. Thanks for checking in on Father's Day. I appreciate that. Uh, John 4, we always uh, bring it out. Yahweh Shai with the woman at the well. Yahweh Shai told that woman, that heathen woman, Right, that was not an Israelite. Uh, he told her that you know not uh, the hour of come that the true worshiper shall worship the, the Father in spirit and truth. And the hour is here now, worshiping the Father Yahweh, which that's his true name in the Hebrew, okay, in spirit, which is through the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, right, and truth. So it's all about truth, not lies. It's not about your feelings, how you feel. It's really up to the most high if you are the elect that you're going to be saved. The issues of death belongs to the most high. He said, I kill if and make it for life. I wound, I heal. Isaiah 14, no, Isaiah 45 and 7. He says, I form the light and create darkness. Uh, I make war and make peace. I, the Lord, do all these things. Roughly power phrasing. All right? For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. Not everybody prayers, man. And damn sure not you small hats because you are not the Lord's chosen people. And they hate to hear that. Now we're the enemy. <laughs> all right? Because we tell you the truth. Right? So let me get this real quick. And like I said, I'm just picking scriptures that come to my mind. Hopefully they're edifying. This is Psalms 50 and 14. Offer unto Yahweh thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in a day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. We're not going to glorify JC. All right. Jesus. We're glorifying Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, and call upon me in a day of, of trouble, and I will deliver you, and thou shalt glorify me. Because who's going to deliver us in these in the time of Jacob's trouble? Who's going to deliver us? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Right? But unto the wicked, the most high say, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Now, if you real with yourself. Without being so emotional, they know y'all not the small hats are not the Lord's chosen people. You know that. But you gotta keep the lie going, 1948ers, and keep it going because you establish yourself in that land. You gotta keep it going because that's the perception and the deception that's around the world, you know? And here you are at war with Gaza. All right. Missile strikes left and right. When the Lord prophecy is that when he will bring his people back into that land, there will be no more wars. But why is it still war? Matter of fact, why is we about to go into the third world war? Make it make sense. These guys are supposed to be so bright, so smart, so wise, so intelligent, you know. But then when it comes to the scriptures, they don't want to face the truth. Make it make sense. 
because Bible prophecy is that the Lord will gather his his elect and bring them back to that land, not them establishing themselves in that land on their own. The Lord's chosen people are still scattered throughout the, this earth. That's why I was called what? The lost 12 tribes. Now the 12 tribes has been found and soon they're going to be gathered by Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, which the elect of them. All right. So it says, uh, and call upon me in a day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked, right, the most high say, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Right. You call yourself the Lord's people, you know, uh, you, you celebrate, you, you worship in the, um, the uh, the uh, holy days of the scriptures, but you call them by a different name, you know. Y'all, y'all the richest people on the planet. You own everything. They hate that. They hate to hear that, you know. Man, but it's but it's truth, right? So it says, "What has thou to dec declare my statutes, or thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth, right?" Because here it is. You would think that they will push the scriptures, but really the small hats, they worship the Talmud. And there was a documentary, uh, the brother Kalab, uh, brother in the camp, a few years ago, he sent me this documentary, how this dude was over there in uh, Israel. And um, he was walking around asking all of the small hats about JC. And they all laughed. And they all looked, they just basically say he was, you know, Regular man, they didn't even care to believe that he was coming back. He's not a big thing to them. He's not prophecy, uh, 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 major prophecy to them, you know. And that in that documentary, and the dude was just asking questions, random guys in the streets, and they all was just saying what they were saying, because they really worship the Talmud. All right. So anyway, Amalek, Amalek man, right? It says, seeing thou hatest instruction. And cat castes my words behind thee, right? When thou sawest a thief, then thou considers with him and has been partakers with adulterers. Thou gavest thou mouth to evil, and thou tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Because why? Esau was Jacob's brother. Esau was Jacob's older brother, older twin, twin brother, might I say. Right, and remember the prophecy that was given to Rebecca: the elder shall serve the younger. So we're not in Jacob's kingdom yet. All right, we in Esau's blessing, which is to live by the sword and have the fatness of the earth. We are at basically the end of his blessing, of his blessing that was given to him by Isaac from the Most High. All right, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother; thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and I will set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget the Most High. Least I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Because they want us to forget about Yahweh. They want us to forget about Yahweh Shai. They want us to worship God and J.C., but what about Yahweh? That's why I said before, when he said God, what God? What's his name? What's his son's name? So we can identify whether you're talking about the true power or you're talking about, you know, deities that the most high is over and controls, you know, which we know who he's talking about. He's not talking about the true and living power, right? So it says, now consider this, ye that forget the most high, least I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praises glorify me, and to him who ordereth his conversation aright, will I show will I show the salvation of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. So, you know, it's not an attack on Glenn Beck. I'm just responding to what he was saying in this video. Alright? And I'm gonna continue to watch him because he's bringing out some current event news. But what he's saying is, is off, you know, we, we, listen, we don't, we need our world to come in. We need our blessing to start Jacob's blessing, not Esau's blessing, man. 
You know? This is hell for us. So. Join me and please spread the word. The Constitution is truly hanging by a thread. <laughs> we need to repent, fast, and pray and ask for the blessings of good people to stand up and, and vote save, and save to America. save the nation. <laughs> and we certainly need his grace to be with us his so grace. What's we his name? don't get angry. Because I am really pretty angry. I told you. Um, but you. thank God. Thank God for Mercury One. Honestly, it's thank God for Mercury it's One. It's only going to get worse, man. And I'm thinking now, you know, I'm just visualizing later. And I'm going to wrap this up. This is about it, man. All right. Um, I'm thinking later as more and more trouble come and, and more trouble happens, these guys are going to be fucking pissed, man. You can start. You're gonna start witnessing, seeing these guys go crazy online, breaking character, man. You know, cause they piss. Cause life is gonna get rough for everybody. It don't matter where you at in the world. All right. This is coming upon the whole world, man. And with that being said, <laughs> let let me get this scripture real quick. This is the book of Second Edges nine and one. He answered me then. And said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning like for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest america had its beginning and now is it has its end and the end is manifesting you know so the water the water the water yahweh bashim yahweh shy Call Halal Lai Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, brothers, if you want to watch the rest of the video, you can go to go to Glenbeck channel, right, and watch the video. You know, but I told you he was pissed, a little frustrated because of everything, the status of America was going on here, and a lot of he's not he just one of many, you know, to be pissed off. You know, matter of fact, Proverbs twenty nine and two, when when the righteous are in authority. The people rejoice, but when the wicked bear 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 rule, the people mourn. So even Edom is mourning because their kingdom is going down. Everybody's mourning. That's why you're going to see more uproars, right? You're going to see more trouble. You know, at Jacob's trouble haven't have have not been activated yet, but we're we're beating on the door. We're knocking on the door of it. You better believe that. You know. But knocking on well, let me say the Lord is literally knocking on a door for Jacob's trouble soon. You know? So with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Alright, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom.